This is a sponsored video. Just to let you know. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yogscast. Today, me and Ben are going to show you an entire campaign of Warhammer 2. Basically, rather than do like 40 20 minute videos over the course of Actually, how long's a campaign if you if you actually didn't like if you played every battle? If you played every battle, I don't know, like somewhere like 20 hours or something? It's like it's gotta be 20 hours, but after a while, like well some battles you ought to resolve, but you have to you have to fight some battles in these mm. games. Some people are really desperate to fight every battle. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop wasting time and <laughs> yeah. we're gonna we're gonna try and get through the entire campaign in one video. One video. Um, so you you picked high elves. I did. Yeah. Got, I, um... My campaign is lizard men. I'm about oh, yeah. six hours into my campaign. Oh, but, cool. But Ben has finished his campaign, so that's mm -hmm. what we're going to use in this video. Mm -hmm. um, I have I don't know anything about high elves. I must admit, and it felt okay. like I know a little bit from the stuff that lizard men got involved. But I'm on a yeah. different continent to you. You are. You're off in like Lustria. Which you is have like... your own do donut shaped island. I do. Okay. Well, no, it's not you. Actually, you don't own very much of it at all. You have. The, I've got the capital city. The capital city and the harbour city, which controls the gates mm -hmm. um, to the central area. Yeah, this is it. And this this big vortex here is is the key to the game. Yeah, okay? the whole campaign is based around this this vortex here. So the high elves defend this vortex, and they basic it, it basically what it does is it sucks magic out of the world, mm -hmm. um, like about ninety percent of the magic to stop. Bad stuff happening. Yeah, all the demons and evil stuff that are fueled by magic. Yeah, keeps them out of the world. And but with, there's still magic. I mean, you've got you, your your leader's Tyrion. Like, does he have magical yeah. spells? No, no. He's like he's like a all American hero. He's his twin brother Teclas is like the sickly weak one who's a, an amazing wizard. Okay, but he's the big butch. He's the swordman. He's the swordman. He yeah. starts off. Uh, do you get to mount him? Um, ooh, <laughs> not on the first oh, date. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, yeah. on a dragon, once, Ben. Once he levels up, he'll get a Malhandir, um, a very special elven horse. Okay. Oh, cool. A horse. Is, do, can he ride a dragon? I know he some can't. High other, elf other high elves can ride dragons, but he's he's not a dragon. He's lord. not a dragon lord. He just gets a special horse. Special horse and a flaming sword. You know. It's well, cool. it's not a dragon though, is it, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'd want a horse and a sword or a dragon. Come on. Anyway. Yeah. Um, this is uh, so, so basically like the st to start the campaign. Mm -hmm. So so the problem is the vortex has a has, it's, it's going wrong. It's going wrong. It's flickering. It's unstable. It's going to break. Someone's unplugged it. Something's going wrong. Yeah. And there's other forces out there in the world that want to use the vortex for their own means. Exactly. So the dark elves just want to kind of shut it down, mm -hmm. and they want to you know, and then the lizardmen want to use it for their own nefarious purposes. Who can understand? God knows. Such and weird the skaven, creatures. I'm sure I don't know. I don't even want to think what they want to use it for. <laughs> yeah. But the high elves, we're the good guys. We want to protect we it. Protect we want to. We want to look after it. And so we have to collect. Are they waystones? Waystones. These way fragments. Okay, and um, um, if we get enough of them, we can do these rituals. And each time you do a ritual, you effectively turn the vortex on and off again, very briefly. <laughs> it's tech support. <laughs> it's tech support. Right. And once you do five of them, should be fixed. That's how to fix your computer if you're worried about <laughs> yeah. Just turn it on and off five times. It's like, up, it's like a driver update each time. Right, okay. Well, it's a good idea. Um, it's, about, it's probably been there for thousands. It's really out of date. <laughs> so we have not. We've ignored those notifications for 5,000 years. <laughs> We're lucky it's still running at all. So who controls it at the moment out there? Is it, um, is, well, is it's it ruined? In effectively my territory. It's called the Isle of the Dead. Oh, I sorry. I thought, I thought it this was the Shrine it. of Assyrians. Oh, so I, yeah. But no, this, this is, is a bit of a ruin. This is part of like the High Elf like religious site. It's an old ruined island town. Yeah, we can go get that later. So we well, I mean um, we control access to this pool, but do. there are towns on the on the pool that we don't control. Yeah. Are these are the high elves. These are other high elves. Okay. These are like the, the the guys with the Pegasus banner in Rainbow Land. Right. <laughs> are these are these friendly factions? Do they do they also want to help us look after yeah, the so some of the high elves are friendly to us and some of them aren't. We right. represent the Phoenix King and some of them don't want to be part of Think Phoenix of it like Kingdom. it's like Game of Thrones. You okay. know, some of the houses are happy for there to be a king. Some of the houses don't want to are be unhappy. a king. So the first thing we need to do is say, look, there's a problem here, guys. We're going to sort it out. We need you to come under our control. And if yeah. they don't agree to do it diplomatically, we're going to go and make them do it by force. By force. Yeah. Because we're... you've got to unite the tribes. That's right. That's... Rule one of a strategy game. I'm falling into this this game though, like we were just not like we were playing it originally, and we <laughs> yeah. were going to do everything. And I want to do that, but no, we're going to skip forward now. Okay? Yes, we're going to skip into the future where who knows what's happened. Okay? Let's find out. <laughs>
Ooh, oh, we're in the future. <laughs> okay, we're, right. we're 74 turns into this game, which yep. take, takes about six hours or something. <laughs> it's something not... Like we've skipped forward a long way. There's now green uh, smoke yeah, coming to mess with energy. our vortex. So our blue energy's coming in to make it good. The Skaven Green's messing it up. So at the top there, you can see that the progress of the other races, okay? So your progress is slightly higher, actually, than... The, the the dark elves. dark elves yeah they're close behind me but we've left the skaven and the lizard men in the they're dark. struggling to keep up with your skills but that might well change we don't know and you've also done pretty well to unite this um, island I yeah. think most of the island is now yours almost all of it so the guys in the east um, these guys confederated with me we had like a I married my daughter off to them or something okay and they diplomatic became part of my empire. elven marriage and then on the on the west these guys Kalidor the dragon princes they had to be shown who was it who was the best yes i had to conquer all these guys um and there's a, there's a few important kind of i mean obviously towns have special resources but there's mm. a few towns that have extra so each town generates one waystone or way fragment or what, whatever it is mm -hmm. um it's different ones for different, different races yeah Per um, town. But there's also like these key locations which generate additional yeah. fragments. So you captured the shrine of the Cain. Shrine of here. Cain. Yeah, it's this horrible volcanic wasteland, but it's a site of ancient power. So you had to ship off like a special army to to deal with that mm -hmm. um, and capture it. And then which, there we go. We built the ancient wasteland there. Generates ten a turn. What's your army like? How many armies have you got at this, at this point? point? I have got. Um, I've got Igmar. He's the guy who... Uh, Ingmir. I, Ingmir. I married him into my family. Right. He's one of the other factions. Okay. So he's pretty good. He's like a level 14 prince. Right, cool. Um, he will spend most of the game trying to defend the Shrine of Cain. <laughs> like, that's his job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, then we've Cause got... Because the other races want to capture these key points. Exactly. Well, right? Whoever holds them gets 10... Oh, my God, then you've got an expeditionary got, force. Yeah, Tyrion's leading an expedition into Dark Elf territory, trying to capture Vol's Anvil, another strategic point. Okay. That's a, a ritual resource site. Oh, my God, this is like a key moment in the game. This is this is critical. I'm sending another expeditionary Oh, my God, force. there's a third army. This is invading... Carthenia? Carthenia, yeah, the a prin a princess. Okay. Um, she's invading the Lizardmen and the Skaven to try and take Talaxan in the in like South America. Um, that's also a ritual site. Damn. So if you secure all these ritual sites, so uh, you're actually ahead even though you don't have any rituals. Oh no, you do have. I've got the Shrine site. of Cain, and I've got. Uh, well, I'm also pushing on the Black Pyramid of Nagash over here. Wow. In what? How have you North put Africa. together three expeditionary forces that um, are equally strong? Well, it was the diplomatic marriages. Right. They just get secured all this territory so for you me. And they sent their armies out. Oh, straight away. So rather than have to fight them, you've secured their armies to fight for you. Exactly. So there's one expeditionary force going south to the deserts to get the Black Pyramid. What is this area controlled by? Is this where the Skaven are? This is undead. Oh, okay. There's a lot of undead territories, like you can, as you can tell from these creepy castles. What What are the undead armies like? Are they like the Vampire Counts? They're a lot like the Vampire Counts yeah. in the first game. Okay. Um, and there's also a Bretonian Crusade going on around here. You can see like the Black Pyramid of Gash is held by... Um, Fagan's Errantry, which okay. is a Bretonian crusade to take, capture the desert. So the the, the, the the lands of Warhammer One will be linked into this game. I think on like a future DLC. They're it to will. the they're to the east. There's going to be a free DLC at some point that will link the two maps together over here. Right, and then you can have like the Empire and the Bretonia messing up with the elves. Okay, getting involved, mm -hmm. helping out or not helping out, as the case may be. Exactly. Um, that's cool. Yours. And then you can send some. You can get some. Maybe send some Bretonians down to secure these points for you. That would oh, be the, cool. the Bretonians didn't like me because I had to land on the beach and they held Xandri. Oh. So the Bretonians were like, what's up, dudes? There and is like another castle down the beach there, you know. Well, that's also held by the Bretonians. Oh, okay. They didn't have a choice. <laughs> They've so, secured all the ports. Some elves just turned up and killed everyone and they were like, why no chill, bro? And we're like, well, we, we need the pyramid. We need just, we need to get secure the Black Pyramid. Of, to get, they're holding it. The Bretonians just camping yeah. out in the... They, they fought uh, the undead for it and now I'm just going to take it off them. Okay, that's cool. Um, so, so you're ooh, poised, in fact, to secure a bunch of places. Mm. Let's find out what happens. Here we go. As we go into the future again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, so now we're on turn 100. Mm -hmm. So actually, not two, 26 turns in the future. There's well, not, but a lot's happened. A lot's happened. I mean, you've a... catapulted up the ritual thing a lot. Look at that. Yeah. Oof. And the Dark Elves are hot on your heels as well, actually. Mm. Um, they, I think, have taken your 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 top shrine, haven't they? They have the up island, here. The, sh the Shrine of Cain 
has been conquered. Ingmir, Ingmir couldn't hold it. Was not doing a good job. Um, and also your foray into the Dark Elf lands failed as well. Yeah, Tyrion's army was defeated and he had to he he nearly died. Okay. My, my faction leader nearly died in that battle, so I had to pull him back. He's just finished rebuilding his his army right. to withstand the counterattack of these three Dark Elf armies on the way. One of oh, which Malekith. is led by Malekith, the Witch King. He's the big, big badass dude who's in charge. Yeah, he is. He is terrifying. A bit of a badass. So th- that didn't work. How did the Lizard Man campaigns go uh, in the in the jungles? In deep in the jungles, that went pretty well. I took okay. Talaxan, the, built pr- the, the princess site. is still holding strong. Kathenia. Yeah, so you're fortifying is. the place at Slaxon, are you? And just that's it. Fight, fighting defensive, Build, building walls, and just hold. Just Have trying you to hold got this some ground. like noble high of archers and stuff to just defend from? Yeah, we got loads of archers. These these are Seaguard. They got spears and bows. Okay. Oh which wow. Is pretty cool. And they got regular archers. So that's great for like defend, like you know, holding defend, the walls. Yeah, def- yeah, like actually fighting battles if they have to, but. But like holding the walls, man, that's a really useful unit. They're a great unit. Um, so she's done well. How about the undead campaign uh, of Arendir? This went very well. Yeah, okay. look, we've got the whole um, land of the dead here. Wow, so you've actually c- captured the whole region. Whole region, because once you capture the whole region, you can issue these commandments, and then I can banish the corruption, like the yeah. undead stench, which is oh my god, it's retreating. Pretty, look, it's pretty not clean. quite as gross as it used to be. Yeah, I'm starting to clean it up. So everyone's hard at work. Just all the elves are cleaning up the corruption. Yeah, Man, they're, that take, went they're well. taking all the gargoyles off the uh, the castles and Knock, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, cleaning up all the sludge, collecting up all the waste stones, and shipping them back for our ritual. So what happened so, back uh, to this that final? Because there was another. You didn't quite unite the high elf island, right? I didn't. There was Avalon in the middle was holding out. Um, they didn't. They just wanted to stay independent. However, however, a chaos incursion <laughs> came in to stop my ritual and just devastated Avalon. Look, it's just a horrible volcanic wasteland they did now. not sign up they didn't they, they they were not willing to sign up to your alliance and as a result you didn't defend them <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> when yeah. chaos came in but now i can move my army in and repopulate it with my own troops okay that's a good idea i suppose so um, yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go forward again and mm-hmm. see what's next okay so now it's turn 146 Mm-hmm. Um, and it's and it's actually looking like the ritual is re- almost ready to go. We're at the end game here. You did lose the jungle. Uh, Let's have a look. The jungle. Whoop. The jungle is massive. <laughs> the jungle is massive. The Skaven came, and they just wave assaulted me. Thousands and thousands of Skaven. They oh, came man. and took that, down Talak. That sounds like a Shonikara. really fun battle to fight, though. That was pretty cool. This is one of the coolest things about Warhammer Two. It is like this. You get to actually see these really big keep defenses against like overwhelming forces because you you know you've not got enough guys That's to defend it. because it was like an expeditionary force they couldn't even really recruit very good units to like replace their losses yeah. so they just weared me down off assault after assault they could replace their men I couldn't replace mine the poor princess she's Bad probably times. being captured or something and but god knows my what. brother twin brother Tyrion turned up leader of the other high elf faction oh. no sorry Teclas I'm Tyrion he's Teclas he's the, he's the he's weedy the nerd brother wizard and um, he came to my rescue, but he got here oh literally God, a got turn too late. What are those? What is his army? It's just like eagles and dragons and phoenixes. <laughs> he's just called all the monsters in to like assemble. He flew them across. And look, literally, he could have got there next turn to help me, but it was too late. But it was too, you won now, anyway. Now it's, uh, now it's you, you completed the ritual first anyway. So you, was that the relief army arriving? Yeah, I asked my brother for help. Too late. He got there literally one turn too late. Oh no, that's a disaster. Um, you, you did, however, um, see off the, um, the 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 dark elves in. I did. Nagaroth. Yeah. So we recolonized Avalon, Ingmir, and uh, cleaned up all the chaos hellscape. So yeah, that's quite nice. Ingmir took back the Ingmir, shrine. Ingmir, he took back the shrine of Cain after a lot of a lot of fighting. And he's still there, defending still there. it. That's just literally, he's like Warden of the North, I've named him. Uh, yeah, there he is. Warden Ingmir, of the North, Warden sure. of the North, Defender of the Shrine of Cain. He's done a good job. And, and then look, you've we've actually... We've super reinforced it. We've done a uh, garrisoned waystone and uh, some watchtowers. The, oh, good. He's okay. fortified. He's dug in. So he's they're not taking that back anytime soon. And then it, you actually made some progress into the Dark Elf area. We defeated Malekith's incursion and counterattacked, taking a huge chunk of Dark Elf territory. Oh, but it's obviously still a bit of a... But this was this was just a distraction play. Right. Like this wasn't trying to conquer the Dark Elves. At one point, we were neck and neck mm. running into this. Yeah. So I literally charged in three armies, took a bunch of territory. He came down to stop me. And while he was doing that, I had a cheeky extra army drop in over here. This is uh, and While he was performing a ritual, I destroyed the... Uh, the uh, altar, altar of Ultimate, ultimate Darkness. darkness. <laughs> and that set his ritual back. He's got to restart ritual number four. Oh, really? Because I back 
I backdoored him. Nice. Well played. Well, Which was pretty good. God, it was like going round to Mordor. Yeah, like it was the long route. Round. It was like Hannibal bringing the elephants um, all the way all round. All the way over the Alps. That's not, And you also killed Shroktak okay. Mount as well, by the way, just for good measure. Yeah, just because there were some bad guys there. <laughs> um, so now he's going to... I disengaged my armies once I'd completed that mission, so he's going to quickly roll over the tiny garrisons defending this territory. Yeah. But they got the job done. It delayed him. It's kept him stuck here. You didn't go for the point. You went for his city instead. And that worked as effective. Rather than like, yeah, trying to where slow he was him doing down. The, rather than stopping him getting his resource, I just burned down the city that was doing the ritual. Okay. So now you're ready to do the final ritual. The final battle. So what's happened now is... Um, we've, we've fixed I haven't the, got this far in the game. We've so. fixed the vortex. <laughs> right. It turns out... Um, the Skaven are using it to summon their god to this world. Okay. So um, we have to fight a final battle on the Island of the Dead. Against the god of the Skaven? Is he um, coming out? He's coming out of the sky oh my as god. we fight. Okay. Um, so if we can defeat the, uh, the... Stop the ritual before they do it, we win. Oh, right, okay. Quest issued. The final battle at the very heart of Ulthwan upon the Isle of the Dead. The greatest of all battles must be fought. Enemies from many realms gather, ready for war. Who let them all through? <laughs> Do you reckon they were like... Well, they've all got their own teleport button, I think. Oh, I see. Okay, they can just automatically teleport. All right, well, so you hit teleport, I guess, and you went yeah. into the final battle. Yeah, and then um, we find out what's actually there, because I didn't, we didn't know at this point. Are you sure you want to teleport? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go for it. So here we go. So Everyone's here. So you're attacking the Gracia clan. So what, you've got Seep... Seeprik? Seeprik's there, do, trying to summon his god. Is he the leader of the Skaven? He's, I guess he's a Skaven leader. I, I Lord Mastermundi's there. Malekith's here. Malekith's here. Everyone's turned up for the final battle. It's a big free-for-all show. Is that there. you? That's me giving a big speech about how if we lose here, we're all dead. And this so is your force? This is my force. It's nice and balanced. Right. I've got some artillery, I've got some infantry, I've got, got some cavalry, I've got a dragon. Okay. And, and what is this word? Um, this is the Skaven. This is the Skaven god coming through the vortex. Okay. He looks pretty spooky, and they've brought with them quite a lot of artillery. Yeah, because they're defending this this cliff top. Right. Um, so they're just going to shoot shoot the hell out of me. Ah, oh, this is this is nice. I, we haven't seen much strategy battle strategy. What is your go to battle strategy? Um, I love hammer and anvil. You know, get your good infantry to type their good infantry, and then swing in something fast and heavy hitting, like shock cavalry or. Or, or a monster. Okay, flanking all them or, yeah, exactly. or going in the in, back. In the back, if you can. You just flew a dragon right at them there. Yeah, so look, now Mazda Mundi's now I've beaten up that small Skaven garrison. Mazda Mundi's here. Okay, and um, he's like, we want to summon our god! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys! So he's brought some Bastilodons there and, and stuff. And the dragon's just like fighting the skinks. The dragon was holding up. Oh, I see, you just basically gave I, him dinner, dinner time. <laughs> yeah, you had a good munch. Oh, no, but they. The, they charged into your dudes and knocked a lot of them over. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Do you have charge really defense on those guys, though? No, he tried, He picked his right target. He hit my sword masters who don't have charge defense. That They're is, like a shock unit. That is not bad. Because sometimes they would use like their big two handed, the mega swords, and they just put them in the ground like spears. Ah, That's right. why the really long like the swords were, were good for that. Yeah, in nice. battles. Nice, double use. Yeah. Yeah, no, sword masters are cool. They're more like, um, they're more like, like Jedi. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like they can like deflect arrows with their swords, and like they've trained for hundreds of years. Okay, think of them like like Jedi with. I like swords. I like the elves. They're, they're 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 kind of when they die, it's like they've it's a bit of a shame. Whereas the Skaven they, and the Lizardmen, they just breed new ones all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're it so disposable. Like, yeah, it feels like the elves because they've been around for a long time. So they're it's a like a, more precious. It's like a tragedy. Yeah, it is. And there's a lot less of them. You know. All right. Mm. So Carry. um, so the once the Lizardmen broke, um, Malekith's Dark Elves turn up. Okay. And look, Master Mundi's like fleeing through them. <laughs> it's bad times for him. <laughs> oh no, that's really sad. <laughs> There's the old Witch King. So He's, uh, he wants to be king of all elves. So this is your chance to, um, if you're playing multiplayer with your friends, it's your chance to like shut down your the opponent's chance of winning um, by by taking control of, of one of these armies. So the, are these like pretty solid armies that they send? Yeah, they're pre well, they're pretty balanced. We've got a bit of a dragon off going on. Okay, nice. <laughs> Which is always cool. It's what you want in these kind of games. And that Hydra. It's like my favorite monster. So they sent a bit of everything. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And on the final... But this is a lot bigger than the than I remember that island, that island of the dead being. Um, I think on the campaign map, it's not to scale. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's like, you know, Tyrion was as big as a castle. I see, I see. And then lastly, after the 
the Dark Elves have seen off. My force is very tired, very depleted. Okay. Um, they've just seen off three armies. Yes. And I think, well, this is it, right? You know, we've beaten all the all the factions. It's done. We've done it. We've saved the day. But but we didn't. It turned out there was a, a fourth secret Skaven army waiting for us to all kill each other in a very Skaven, sneaky way. Um, and here they come. So now, all, basically, I've lost, like, half my Swordmasters. Right. And all my other units are down to about 50% men. Okay. Um, that sounds still fine. And they're all exhausted. Uh, that's not fine. Totally exhausted. So this fresh Skaven army comes in, and I'm thinking... Oh man, um, I can't grind up against these guys because my guys are so tired and depleted. But what normally works is um, Skaven are cowards. Okay. And if you kill their commander, then then they're more afraid of you than they are of their own bosses. I see. So my plan was hold them up with my infantry and then just charge Tyrion in, who's at this point like a level forty kill machine. Okay. I've geared him purely up for combat. So he's just going to stomp the commander and everyone else will flee. That's the plan. That's okay. Because I need to end this combat quickly. I'm starting to get a vibe that you're not <laughs> that things might not go well. <laughs> I thought you oh my god um, is this going to turn out the, the not to be a happy ending? Well, let's find out. So here he goes. Smash. I'm just chopping up their leader but I've extended myself. I'm actually really far away from my own troops at this point. Um, who are getting just mauled by, by rat ogres, rat and, ogres and the hell pit abominations chewing on them. Um, and it turns out Tyrion did not kill that guy fast enough. Did he kill him at all? He took him down to like 10% health. Oh no. And then he was just too swarmed and too cut off from his own men that his morale bro broke and he fled like a coward. <sighs> Why wouldn't he just fight to the last? Tyrion. Tyrion, you noob. So here he is, running away. <laughs> oh, he's fighting, he's fighting a fighting he's withdrawal. fighting withdrawal. Um, what are these guys? Now this comes down, uh, once Tyrion breaks, all the other elves break. Right. So I kind of hit myself with my own strategy. <laughs> I see, oh, right. Um, the only things that hold are the dragon and my knights, the dragon princes. Okay. Um, so they're now trying to hold off the entire Skaven army on their own, while I, I my infantry can We know like, how rally. strong the dragon princes are. Yeah, the dragon prince is very strong, as is the dragon. Look, here uh, he goes. He's burning away at the Skaven. But they're gassing him with, like, poison gas grenades. I, I'm, I'm sick of how sneaky the Skaven are. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like we should have seen this coming. I know. We should have just guessed that they were waiting for all the armies to kill each other they were before really, they moved they're in. They're really good bad guys, Skaven, aren't they? Like, really oh, I cool. I love them. The dragon does go down to gas bombs. Okay, that's bad. Bad times, leaving the Dragon Prince cavalry on their own. They make a last charge to try and kill the Skaven commander but are intercepted by rat ogres. Well, that is the last thing you want, isn't it? I yeah. feel like if anything is as good as Dragon Prince, it's rat ogres. Honestly, like in the battles that we played, oh boy, they were they were the bane of my... I still don't know how I'm supposed to fight them, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I think you've got to shoot them. That's the only thing I've, I've found out. Uh, and so you had a valiant defeat. A valiant defeat. I was pipped by the sneaky Skavens at the end. I think that's a good way to end your first Warhammer campaign, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a, it was a little bit different to what we, you would normally see, but man, I, yeah. well, I, I'm you, blown away that you didn't manage to to, to win the campaign. It was close. You were playing really on close. very hard, though. Yeah. So I mean, that is. I can always reload. And I think, oh, there's I no think Iron Man mode on Warhammer. That's true. That's true. You didn't bring an optimized army, did you? You probably might have might have done better with a slightly slightly yeah, I different force. Should have brought force. more dragons. I think. Now you know what to expect. Three dragons, Daenerys style. Thanks everyone. There's a bunch more Warhammer Two videos going out on the Civ channel, and obviously yeah. me and Ben. I've got our own channel where we're doing stuff. So watch that. Yeah, me and Tom are going to fight a versus campaign okay. on the Civ channel. We'll, so you can go and watch we'll, that. We'll go and tune in for some of that. Excellent Warhammer bants. <laughs> uh, you two seriously know your stuff. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, everyone. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye.